So now we're going to talk a bit about continue. Continue is uh, similar in some sense to break in that you use it to control loopage. And I'm going to just talk through this with an example similar to the one in the current lesson on continue. So uh, why don't we make a variable called not cubes, and this is going to be a list. And what we're going to store in this is all the values in a range that are not cubes. And you know we'll just take a look at how to do that. So first, let's write a function called is cube. So def is cube. And we're going to do that on some number. And let's say uh, for um, i in range, and we'll go from 2 to that number. If, if the cube of i equals the number, then we can just return true. And if i if the cube of i is greater than the number, then we can break. And in this case, we can just return false. Now, we could optimize this code. I just wanted to throw a break in here just to be, just to be that person. OK. Um, let's test this. Print is cube. And let's think of a cube. Uh, you know, 3 cubed, uh, 3 to the third power, right? Uh, 3 times 3 is 9, 27. So let's just test 27 first and make sure that we're seeing a cube here. And run that, true. So we get true there. And as always, being a good coder means that you test cases, you know, you test cases that are true and false. So 25 is not a cube as it turns out. So let's go ahead and look at this. Uh, let's look at a range of numbers. For i in range, we're going to collect all the cubes between um, 2 and something. So for i in range, 2 and, let's say, 1,000. Let's find out what all the not cubes are, first off. So if is cube of i is true. So we don't actually have to put the is true here because we're returning a Boolean. Is cube is either going to be true or false, so I'll just leave that off. Um, if that's, uh, that's the case, if it's a cube, then we're going to go back to the start of this for loop. We're not going to do anything else, OK? And when you do that, notice um, this not cubes dot append i. Notice that this won't this won't execute if this returns true, right? Because we're going to hit continue, and we're going to go back up to four, right? So for three, for instance, three is not a cube. If is cube of i, we're going to go back up to this function go through this, it's going to return false. And um, so we're not going to execute this continue, and 3 should get appended. But when we get to 27, 27, when we input it into here, we're going to get true. If is cube of 27, well, then we're going to continue. And 27 will not be appended to not cubes. So let's go ahead and see how many not cubes there are. Uh, between 2 and 1,000. Run this. Oh, whoops. I was going to do the length of that, not the actual whole list. And I know that's probably hidden behind my head right there, so I'll just clear this. Notice you can type clear in the terminal, and that'll take you back up to the top of the ter terminal if you're in patch. So there are 990 not cubes in the range from 2 to 1,000. Kind of interesting, right? So that means um, 
that there are eight cubes? No. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let's let's make let's let's just sanity check this really quick. So if cube, if it if is cube, then why don't we um why don't we go ahead and set this to we'll set this to um, equals false. Then we're going to continue. And in this case, we'll append the cubes, cubes.append i. So I just reversed the logic there. And let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, line 16, not cubes, it's not defined. Of course it's not, because I just got rid of it. So let's just look at how many cubes we have. Eight. Okay, well, let's print those cubes. It's not a very long list. We can just take a look at it. Here, let me do that. 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512, 729. Now, when your friends ask you, what are the cubes between 2 and 1,000? You can give them an answer. Now, let's just look at all the cubes between 2 and 10,000. Oh, wait a minute. I need to save my file. Run that again. It's pretty cool, right? So you can start, you know, you can approach these kind of number theory questions. Um, they're fun. They're fun to answer. And maybe it feels like trivia, but you're going to find that the more you engage with this kind of trivia, um, the easier it will be to solve more complex problems. You're just going to have a sense of the building blocks to get from one simpler mathematical problem to a more complex mathematical problem.